Hey, what's going on everyone? It is TechWares and today is February 18th, 2025 and I haven't made a video about Intel Arc progress uh, in a long time. So there's been really not that much news, not that many news around in, uh, surrounding Intel Arc. However, recently there have been and I've pretty much just been keeping like a whole bundle of them so I can make a video on them. So, uh, remember when Tom, Intel's Tom Peterson, I went on, I think it was uh, PC World, and he said that XC3, which is the architecture that Intel Arc Celestial will be using, he said XC3 is baked, the hardware team is done with XC3, they've moved on to future uh, future generation, so XC4, um, and the software team is now working on XC3. So ever since then, there's been some uh, some news. We know that Panther Lake will be launching in the second half of this year, 2025. Intel has um, uh, said this in their uh, earnings call, in their Q4 uh, 2024 earnings call. They've confirmed that Panther Lake, which will be using XC3 architecture. So Panther Lake is mobile. It's for the, the mobile uh, segment. So for laptops. And Panther Lake will be using XC3. And that is coming in the second half of this year. So the good news is that even if uh, sorry, even if Celestial will be releasing, I don't know if it will, but say uh, Intel Arc C series or Celestial will, will be releasing in 2026, which I don't know if it is or not, we are still going to be hearing about XC3 architecture this year, since that's when Panther Lake will be launching, and that and Panther Lake will utilize XC3 architecture. So that's good. We don't have to wait like two years or something. So it's happening this year. We're going to learn about XC3 Celestial this year. Also, some other news. There's kind of like a rumor that Celestial discrete graphics cards are expected to feature XC3P architecture. So not XC3, but XC3P. The XC3 is only going to be for uh, Panther Lake, whereas the discrete graphics cards, you know, the ones that we slot into our motherboards and for our desktops, or the adding cards, are going to be using some architecture called XC3P which is supposedly be using Intel's foundry instead of TSMC. And that's just a rumor. All right, here it is, the article from Video Cards. Intel's next-gen Arc Celestial discrete GPUs were ru rumored to feature XC3P architecture. And we heard about this XC3P architecture last year. November, around November time of last year. The article from uh, Video Cards as well. Intel is already testing XC3 GPU for Panther Lake. There's also an XC3P variant spotted. And if you scroll down here, I guess this tweet is not working, but you know, here it is. So there was an engineer that used to work for Intel. He worked there from 2021 to 2023, so a year and 10 months. And he was, let me open this picture up. And he was the lead project architect for XE Plus, XE3, and XE3P GPU IP. So this was the first time where we learned about XE3P, and now the new rumor. From uh, Rai Raichu, Raichu on X, uh, Raichu said, different from Panther Lake, but Celestial's discrete graphics card, discrete, gra uh, discrete processing unit, looks like will maybe be based on XC3P instead of XC3. And he said, I estimate it will be based on Intel's processed instead of outside. So that's kind of exciting. Because uh, XC3, uh, XC3P is going to be 
might be produced, allegedly rumored, uh, internally on Intel's own fab. A video card goes on to say this would be a major shift given that both Arc, Arc Alchemist and Arc Battle Mage are, uh, were manufactured at TSMC. Intel's Celestial GPUs aren't expected anytime soon. The company has just launched its Arc Battle Mage GPUs, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, video cards goes on to say, uh, if it is indeed manufactured at Intel's fabs, that gives the company more control over the schedule, but also involves typical risks such as delays, uh, which Intel is unfortunately known for. However, I think um, if it is manufactured at Intel's fabs, this gives Intel a lot of control even over the pricing because they can price them lower. They can price the disk graphics cards lower since they make them, right? They're not relying on TSMC. So this is just the pretty much the biggest rumor right now as far as Intel Arc Celestial. All right, there's just more articles on it. This is from Hard Hardware. Pretty much every major uh, publication, tech website has uh, written about this. So TSMC out, Intel Arc Celestial GPU rumored for in-house manufacturing. Also in uh, Battle Mage news, or B Intel Arc B series news. Sparkle, this is just today, they uh, released the Intel Arc B580 Guardian. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, B580 GPUs out there. And the positive thing about Battle Mage, it is selling out everywhere. This is a website that tracks the stock of... Uh, uh, computer parts now in stock.net and here is the page for Intel RG580 and as you can see Amazon, BA, uh, B&H, Newegg pretty much all the B580s are sold out all of them so that's great now people are going to be saying oh well they're only selling out because there isn't that much stock available in the first place but the thing is though they sell out as quick as they get restocked so you see them getting restocked in a couple hours, they sell out. I've actually never seen them um, stay, stay in stock for like more than a day. So they're selling out and that's a positive thing. Uh, people are buying them, they're, they're in demand and they're good. So I'm pretty sure Intel's very happy with the B580 getting you know a good response from not only the reviewers but also customers since they are uh, buying them out. So that's, uh, yeah, that's great. I hope they really release a higher uh, version of the B5, uh, sorry, the B series GPUs, like a B570 or, sorry, uh, B770 or 780, whatever, however they want to go, 790, things like that. And this is the Newegg uh, website, uh, This and this is the list of the best sellers graphics cards. The, current best-selling graphics card on the way right now and if you scroll down here you see there's uh, first place second third fourth if you look at seventh it's the intel arc b580 so as of today uh the intel arc and this is their own version the quote-unquote reference version for the uh, intel arc uh b580 limited edition it's in the seventh place and that's pretty pretty awesome, honestly. I, I, that's awesome. I'm pretty sure there's a few out here too. There's another one here from Onyx. Here it is, the B580. It's in the 14th place. Maybe there's some more here, and here's the Onyx Odyssey. In 16th place. So a few Intel cards up here, huh? It's pretty awesome to see. So in the top 20, there's three Intel Arc GPUs that are uh, the best selling. So Intel should really should really ramp up the production of these uh, GPUs and let their uh, AIDs know to push them out because they're selling it like hotcakes. And you know with the ridiculous pricing of you know the 
Nvidia GeForce RTX 50 series. Ridiculous pricing. I'm not really sure if that many people are going to be really, um, they're not really going to be appealing to the majority of gamers, right? Majority of gamers want something that is affordable and, you know, bang, bang for your buck value. So that's it for today, guys. I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, pretty much the biggest news of this video is um, the rumor that Intel Arc Celestial C-Series discrete GPUs are rumored to be using XC3P architecture, which is not from TSMC, but it is from Intel Foundry themselves. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did you buy an Intel Arc GPU? Are you planning to? Are you just waiting to see how they develop and how they um, progress and you know the, the drivers and uh, our controls and things like that. Take care, everyone. Peace.